Hi folks, thanks for high on Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and disassemble my brand new Galaxy S4 Active and we're gonna go ahead and assemble it and we're gonna dump it in the water and see if my disassembly and assembly was successful um, that way because this is a special phone, kind of different um, than the regular Galaxy S4 since it is waterproof IP67 rated. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to disassemble, assemble it and uh, this can be very helpful, um, you know, pretty much we'll show you how to replace the LCD, the, the USB module, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to totally take it apart uh, as much as I can and put it back together. So let's go ahead and do this, baby. Ugh. So let's go ahead and do this, baby. Kawabunga. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take it apart. Um, so go ahead and take the cover out. And uh, go ahead and take the battery out. Of course, your SIM card if you want to. You can leave it in or whatever. Um, there's going to be... How many screws? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And also, you will need a uh, number zero screwdriver. These are nice. Um, get the nice ones. This one's actually mag magnetic, so it's easy. And also, you'll need these uh, little pins here. Uh, let me go ahead and show you these things have a little hole here. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in here for you. And I don't, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's like a small hole um, that you can insert a pin like right on the side of there. So what you can do is grab this pin, all right? Go ahead and insert it in that little slot and just, just wedge it up nice and easy. Oops, there we go. And basically this is a sticker thing that just comes off. See that? So just get them all off and put them, put them aside so you don't lose them. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put these um, just over here somewhere. Ah, come on. All right, all right, that's not good. All right, it's just sticking everywhere. All right, and you're gonna go ahead and take all of these things out, being very careful. Just slide under underneath there, and they'll just pop out. And just leave them aside, and also for the down corners. Um, I don't think these actually do anything, they're just stickers, so I don't think you actually need them. Uh, but you can put them back on, just for looks. Uh, this just hides the actual screws um, that you'll need. So the difference between the regular S4 and the Active, uh, it's got, uh-oh, uh, crap, I just lost that one. Okay, I hope that doesn't, <laughs> uh, I'll find it. I hope that doesn't affect, I don't think it actually has any effect on waterproofness. Now you'll have extra four screws, so go ahead and take them out. I'm gonna go ahead and probably fast forward all of this. All right, folks, so once you have all of the screws off, um, this should just come off pretty easily. Uh, just look for some gaps here. See, there, there's already a gap here. I didn't do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and just slide down my fingernail, or you can use like a plastic tool uh, if your fingernails are not long like me. Uh, and just go ahead and try to kind of snap it out of there. And it should kind of snap out. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slowly work this out. And pull the camera back a little bit. And also bottom here is just kind of pulling out. There you go. So it's kind of pulling out there. And I've got it almost out. Be careful not to bend the frame because this is kind of the part where it's going to be. Oh, I forgot a screw. I'm an idiot. Don't do that. Don't force it and forget to take out a screw. Then you'll bend the frame and it might lose its IP67 rating. Um, hopefully I didn't do that now. It should be fine. Go ahead and pull it out. And did I forget a screw? No. 
All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop them out. Uh oh, why is not pulling out? There we go. Boom shakalaka. So I got it pulled out. Um, so that's what it's looked like. Now uh, with the regular Galaxy S4, it doesn't have that gasket here. That's what keeps it uh, protected from the water. Um, so none of this stuff actually matters. The gasket is the most important part. Um, so that's what keeps it waterproof. And next we're gonna go ahead and take it apart. Um, this is actually the the USB module. Now, if you're going to fix the USB module, um, you can go to eBay and search for like, usually it's called the USB flex cable. And this will be this whole part you can replace. I'm not going to actually take it out. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. There's two screws here. Um, just pop this open and most of this sh should come off. So if you're going to replace that and I also have a video a tutorial on how to replace a uh, USB flex cable for Note 2. And you know, most of the Samsung phones are very similar. Go ahead and pop these uh, things out. The antenna first, we're gonna go ahead and take the motherboard out. Uh, and this one that connects to the USB. This is the LCD here. And uh, also there's another screw here, uh, which is for the camera, no, no, the sensor's up here. So go ahead and take this screw out. And there's like a little metallic uh, protector here and protect it. So I'm going to go ahead. This is the only black screw on this phone. Um, so go ahead and uh, there's a metal thing here. This should pop out. Let me see how it pops out. Here we go. Um, you might have to kind of work it a little bit. Let me go ahead and grab my tweezers here. And it should pop out. There we go. I did it before. Oh, just kind of pull it, pull it in, pull this part in this way to the right, and it will gently pull out. There you go. That's what's protecting uh, these two things. Let me go ahead and pop these open, and these will just pop out there. And this is one of the sensors. Um, I think one of those is a uh, infrared sensor. And I think that's the front camera. Yeah, that's the front camera. All right. And go ahead and pop this one open. Also, this is the LED connector. Uh, goes to your LED. And I think I've got them all out. And they should kind of pop out here. Let me see if I can. Go ahead and uh, kind, of, kind of pull it out slowly. Um, just work it. Work that. Uh oh, something's stuck. I don't know what it is. Oh, there we go. It just popped out. It was just stuck there. There we go. So I've got the motherboard out here. Now, if something goes wrong with your camera, go ahead and you can order the new camera here. This is the back camera. This will just pop out from the motherboard, and this is the actual motherboard, obviously. And that I think that's your LED flash. What is that? Um. Forget what that is. All right, it's it's something. <laughs> all right, and uh, all right. Now, if you want to replace the whole screen, um, I probably don't recommend actually just replacing the glass since this act, uh, S4 Active is kind of special. It's designed to be used uh, underwater, so definitely I would get the whole frame. Now, I found out um, that you can actually get the digitizer, the glass, and this whole frame. You can order this, um, you know, the whole thing. I know there's a site. I, pff, I, if I can find it, I'll, I'll show you. Then it'll come with most of it. Um, so you don't have to, you know, scrape. If you break the glass, you don't have to scrape the glass, uh, all of that. It'll just come with the frame. Um, you can just pop this out. This is just a sticker here uh, for, I think, the speaker or vibrator or speaker or whatever. Uh, and you can go ahead and pop this one out. Um, and uh, everything else it will come with, including the LED up here because it's all fused in there and you might have to replace the USB but it's just uh, unscrew those take that out pop it out put it in the new frame with the digitizer um, and put it together that's pretty much it uh, for screen replacement and for this particular version 
don't do the glass only if you want to keep you know if you want to be able to have your phone um, still waterproof um, because the LCD when you replace it if you know if you do it wrong if the water gets in it you might just uh, not want to deal with that um, so definitely just replace the whole thing with the frame I'll try to find a site I found it before for the Galaxy S4 um, but that's pretty much it and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it together here and I just want to show you all the parts and how to take it apart and you know it's something you can do um, at night if you get bored like me and uh, let's go ahead and put it together I'm gonna go ahead and pop the motherboard back on here obviously so just uh, when you pop the motherboard back in make sure this flex cable up here uh, doesn't get stuck in and also the antenna if it gets stuck um, you will have to order a new one sometimes and that sucks and go ahead and plug it back in and just uh, connect all the connectors all right I'm gonna go ahead and connect the LCD the LED there and I'm gonna go ahead and connect the antenna now be careful with the antenna this thing is very fragile um, on my last disassembly one of my disassemblies I broke it so I had to order a new one I mean it's not that expensive but when you order on eBay some of the parts like this one it will take uh, like a week to arrive which sucks all right go ahead and plug it in that's your antenna all right it's all plugged in nicely there and also don't forget your USB flex cable there that's to your USB port this one's a little bit of a drag come on baby you can do this um, but yeah I mean if you take all the if you watch this video and uh, take it step by step just go real slow anybody can do this uh, and especially if you've been working on computers laptops before uh, it's gonna be a piece of cake compared to that I can get this in there we go it'll snap in there uh, that's in there and I'm gonna go ahead and put the the sensor here I believe that's the thermometer and uh, proximity sensor and the camera make sure you don't touch the lens we're gonna go ahead and pop it back in here and also you can replace all of these parts by yourself um, obviously you know there we go so that's in uh, that's the camera the proximity sensor and the I think the therm uh, infrared sensor and the next thing we're just gonna go the opposite we're gonna go ahead and put the plate back on here which kind of protects it I have no idea why they need it uh, this thing kind of slides under here you know slides over it and uh, oh, there we go yeah give me a second here and let me see if I can get it all right there we go now with this one you'll want to kind of push it in and then it will go in there so I'm gonna go ahead and use my tweezers and push in a little bit until it goes in boom and it pops in there and you're gonna get the black screw the same black screw you use there's only one black screw on this uh, Galaxy S4 active and go ahead and screw it in all right and that's all the hard part is over just double check all the everything is connected um, let me kind of give you an overview so do check the antenna from the right check the LCD make sure it's on and check the LED flex cable that goes to all your LEDs uh, and then you check the proximity sensor and the front camera and also the USB connector that's pretty much it and I think I'm getting better at this if you've watched one of my first disassembly videos it is it sucks <laughs> but um, the more I'm doing this I think I'm getting better now we're all done uh, with putting that we're gonna put the cover back on uh, go ahead and uh, plug in your uh, USB cable here just plug it in that way you don't have to worry about it there we go just plug it in there um, the right way there should be a space uh, for your your tab there so make sure it doesn't fall or you can put it on the other side but I find it's easier to put it just on the the motherboard side so make sure it's in correctly like that and we're gonna go ahead and just pop everything back in 
uh, make sure it's in the right direction. And I'm going to go ahead and actually start at the bottom because the USB, I don't want to miss it. Uh, go ahead and pop from the bottom, kind of push it in. Yeah. All right, what you can do, actually, you know what? We'll do it the opposite way. Uh, if you look on the other side of it, um, there is a slot right there that you can put the USB in there. Make sure it's in the right direction. Go ahead and go like that. It's, it's in nicely. And I'm going to go actually this way. And that's the only thing that can go wrong while you're pushing it in. Now, this you might have to kind of angle it a little bit. All right, uh, I'm done here. Just double check you've got all the screws in. I'm um, go ahead and put your SIM card back in. And go ahead and put your battery back in. And we're gonna go ahead and test uh, if the phone powers up. The LCD is working, sound is working. And also make sure your home button's working. All that good stuff. Um, should be working if you did everything right. Now, sometimes when you're putting the top the frame back on sometimes some of the connectors come off um, so that's why you need to check it and we'll do a final drop test here and you can see it's a um, brand new phone I just lost that I, I it's somewhere I think it's it popped in the air and it's just hit me somewhere but it's gotta be somewhere my touch screen is working so that's good the sound is working make sure your home button is working yes my home button is working I'm just fine and that's pretty much all you need to really check for. Um, and I'm getting a nice 4G LTE. So let's go ahead and drop it real quick. And you're going to love this um, since I've got water right here. All right. So if I did everything correctly, make sure your USB thing's in there. It should be able to stay in there uh, for a fairly long time, up to 30 minutes. Well, actually, that's for up to one meter. Um, but if I didn't do anything right, it would just shut off right now. So we did a successful disassembly, as you can see there, um, in the disassembly of the phone. And there you have it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And this video should help you um, take the apart Galaxy S4 active flawless uh, without ma making its mistakes. You know, just go slow if this is your first time. And anybody can do this. You can replace the the uh, the USB module. You can replace the screen, the LCD, the frame, whatever you want. Uh, you can replace the camera. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. That's obviously working well. And I'll do another pool test. I'm gonna actually have another pool video where I'll be doing some skateboarding into the uh, the what is it? Else, let me wipe it off into the pool and let me go ahead and, and check the camera is working and you can see the front uh, the camera is working and uh, let me go ahead and switch to the front camera here and front camera is working just fine and let's actually check our waterproofness now with this phone you will still get water uh, on it when you take the battery off it will get water where you, uh, outside the gasket because it's designed to be waterproof up here. Um, you just don't water water inside the gasket. And inside the gasket, there's actually no water. So mission accomplished. And uh, if I take the battery out, if there's no hint of water, you've successfully uh, disassembled and assembled your Galaxy S4 Active. And thanks you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you take your Galaxy S4 active apart because you were bored like me, or maybe you were fixing your phone, um, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button down there, and as always, don't forget to stay on Android.